All right, so Squidward in the Closet, 90210 here at Kermit again with Flashback Friday. But before we begin, I have some things I'd like to tell you before we start. I got my costume. It's right over there behind the mountain of Pokemon plushes. And yeah, it's Trainer Red in the Gen 1 design. But I also got something else in the mail too. The 1997 Tycho Sesame Street being a Burt. And like the big bird, he is tagged because this is the back of his tag. Same information as big bird, only the back of it shows a little picture of Bert there. And yeah, the front of the tag is the same, only it says Bert as the name of the character, not big bird. Read the facts on the inside of the tag. Bert's birthday is July 26th. My birthday is July 4th. He's been on Sesame Street since the very beginning in 1969, and it says his favorite hobby is collecting bottle caps and paper clips, but Bert also likes reading books, eating oatmeal, and taking care of pigeons, but Bert, yeah, his hair is fur, his unibrow is soft, his eyes and mouth are like the eyes and mouth for most of the other characters in the Sesame Street bean set. His nose is pretty much the same as Elmo's. He's got that yellow color that he should have. His shirt is made from an interesting material. His shirt is made from like a sock. His green pants are made from felt. And his brown shoes are made of felt. So I really like the shoes on this Burt plush. And I like what they use to make the shirt out of. So I'm going to put this Burt right up there. And for comparison reasons, I have my Play School Burt plush. The one that y'all see in my videos, so yeah. On this Play School Burt, Play School Burt, his hair is like almost not really fur. I mean, the unibrow is not really soft. The eyes, they're soft like that Burt, the nose. It's Bert's nose, exactly what it should look like. The mouth, they went for a 3D look. Yeah, his face captured Bert perfectly. Bert's clothes, yeah. It's okay for a Bert plush. Bert's not really made from like soft material, but a notable difference is that this Bert has brown shoes on his feet. Play School Bert has blue shoes on his feet, but that's 1997. This was like from 2013, so let's do a size comparison of these guys, like back to back. Yeah, I can tell Play School Bert's a little bit bigger than the Tycho Bert. Let's get the tags out of the face. Yeah, Play School Bert is a little bit bigger than Tycho Bert, but they're still nice sizes. Yeah, Tycho Bert and Play School Bert, even though this is Tycho. Yeah, this is the Tycho Bert. This is the Play School Bert. Play School Bert, this one, is a little bit bigger than Tycho Bert, but back to what we wanted to talk about. It was Christmas 2002, my very first Christmas. I was really little, Kermit the Frog, he was Macy's Christmas mascot for that year. And uh, I'm going to go read some information off of a wiki. And we've all seen the Kermit the Frog balloon in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade when we were younger. I mean, right? Surely I remember the Kermit the Frog balloon. It has to come back for this year's parade. I mean, seriously, guys, Kermit's still relevant, but that's not my business. But anyway, let's hop like a frog over to the internet. Muppet Wiki, Macy's, Chain of American Department Stores, founded in 1858. The flagship store is located in Herald Square, New York City, billed as the world's largest store. It's known for the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Here's a Kermit balloon on a store. We're only talking about Kermit. I know that blue thing. That's not Kermit, but it's Grover. We're not talking about Grover. We're talking about Kermit. This is the Kermit plush that they have. I have the Macy's 2002 Kermit, but that little camera toy it came with, I don't have it, and his clothes are off. 
I mean, hey, well, Kermit usually doesn't really wear clothes. He's a naked frog, but... Well, Kermit's collar, which I'm zooming in on... Kermit's not really a naked frog, because Kermit cites his collar as a piece of clothing on The Muppet Show. He said that, but... In addition to a Kermit plush, Macy's also had a Kermit Christmas ornament. And again, this is not about Grover, this is about Kermit. And speaking of Grover, Macy's had a Grover, and I had the Grover when I was little. And I used to have both the Kermit and the Grover, but... The Grover... Well, the Kermit... The Kermit was one I got... Kermit I didn't have for a long time. Kermit's more new. Grover was the old one. But... This is a Macy's Kermit plush from 2002 with the clothes and ca toy camera missing. But... Yeah. I remember getting this in Goodwill, like... Two years ago, I fit. Yeah, I think it was two years ago. I found this in Goodwill. But speaking of Kermit and the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, this is what the Kermit balloon looked like for those of you people who were living under rocks like Patrick and were maybe stupid like Patrick. And then this is what the old Kermit balloon looked like. I see the difference, but the old Kermit balloon suffered many incidents. So thought I'd take the time to talk about Kermit at Macy's. So, Squidward in the Closet, 90210 here, signing out, and Kermit Macy's Childhood, Kermit at Macy's.